All right, this is the open source controller. And I have a small battery pack over here of about 30 volts, my emergency disconnect. I have my plus coming up to the plus side of the contactor, the minus, or the other side, of, which is also plus, of this contactor, goes over to the plus on the controller, which also goes out to the motor. And this wire here goes to the motor armature. This wire over here goes to the negative battery, high voltage negative. And in the back is the wire that goes to the field, which is right here. This is the field, that's the armature. And we've got a jumper wire that goes from the field to the armature on the other side. So it's a series motor. All right, so now we have two orange wires which go to our throttle box. We've got a yellow wire which goes to our contactor. This wire feeds the contactor, so we have a negative wire from our 12 volt battery here. This is 12 volts, the output for the contactor. We also have our red wire, which is our positive, and we have our black wire, which is negative on our 12 volts. This is 12 volt stuff. The other big heavy wires are the high voltage. Now across my contactor, I've got a little diode uh, that's to suppress the back EMF of this coil. So when you turn it off, it doesn't blow out the transistor in there. And of course, you got to have this lined up right. The little uh, ring goes toward the plus. All right, now I have a, uh, this is a light bulb here for a pre-charge resistor. You can use whatever you want for pre-charging. You might want it always to be pre-charged or you might want to have a switch for pre-charging. That way you won't run your batteries down. Uh, you'll notice when I hook up the, uh, the light bulb will light up a little, just a little bit and then goes dim. Although I didn't notice much lighting up there, but we're on such a low voltage. Then I flip my switch here. When I do, we get the controller doing a little test. We should hear the contactor click. There goes the contactor, the light is on, and now we give it a little juice and off we go. Now the thing to remember with, with a nine inch motor is you don't want to spin that too fast because it could uh, over rev without a load on it. 